Hey there. Today we're in Oregon and we're going to go to Troon Vineyards. Now they are in the Applegate Valley AVA in Oregon and uh, it's going to be a great visit. They do biodynamic and certified organic uh, fruit and they do all natural winemaking and they make terrific wines. So come on, we're going to check it out. Let's go. Today we're headed to Troon Vineyards in the Applegate Valley AVA in Grants Pass, Oregon. The Applegate Valley AVA is an American viticultural area located in Southern Oregon. It is entirely contained within the Rogue Valley AVA. The valley produces Tempranillo, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, Tanat, uh, Vermentino, Chardonnay, Zinfandel, and many Rhone varieties as well. Troon Vineyards is owned by Denise and Dr. Brian White. The Whites married in 1996. They lived in Texas where they raised four children. Their eldest, Amber, lives in Grants Pass, Oregon. They now divide their time between Texas and Oregon. We didn't find Troon, it found us, said Brian and Denise. The Whites came to Applegate Valley in 2017. Craig Camp is general manager with more than three decades of experience in the wine industry. He has experience in exporting, importing, distribution, marketing, sales, viticulture, and fine wine production. He has extensive hands-on experience in wineries in Italy, Napa Valley, the Willamette Valley, and now Applegate. Camp has also been recognized for his work by Food and Wine Magazine and Savoir Magazine. He is currently president of the Applegate Valley Vintners Association and serves on committees of the Oregon Wine Board and the Rogue Valley Vintners Association. Nate Wall is the winemaker. Nate has spent almost a decade of making wine in the Willamette Valley and several more years in Virginia. Nate earned a bachelor's degree in molecular microbiology and a master's in environmental engineering. This grounding in science and sustainability led him to embrace natural winemaking and biodynamic vineyard practices. Nate believes in the region's unique terroir and crafting wines with a true sense of place. Applegate Valley has been a grape growing region since 1870 when A.H. Carson began planting 30 acres of grapes along the North Applegate Road. Troon Vineyard was first planted in 1972 by Dick Troon, a displaced Scotsman. Troon Vineyard property had been a cattle grazing property for many decades before that, high up in the Siskiyou Mountains. For several years, Dick sold the grapes to local wineries then he converted a barn into a winery. The Whites bought the winery in 2017. Today, Troon Vineyards grows more than 20 varieties across more than 40 acres. Their winery and vineyard are Demeter Biodynamic and Organic certified. Their goal is to put back more than they took from the soil. That philosophy continues in the wine cellar, where winemaking is minimalist. They use only native yeasts with no additives to their fermentation, and they use only older neutral oak. The white wines are whole cluster pressed, then barrel fermented in mature French oak barrels. For orange wines, they are using clay amphora to allow extended skin contact after fermentation. For red wines, they focus on using whole cluster and whole berry fruit in their fermenters. Then they use only neutral French oak barrels. I then began my tasting in the outdoor tasting garden. Cote de Cubli Blanc 
This is the 51% Viognier, 28% Marsane, and 20% Roussain from Cowhorn Vineyard, Applegate Valley. This wine is a classic white blend of varieties from the Rhone Valley. The grapes are biodynamically grown, purchased from a neighboring biodynamic vineyard. The wine is not from Troon's estate, Kubli Bench Vineyard, so they call it Cote de Kubli, uh, as it comes from the surrounding hills. Marsane adds richness and roundness. The Viognier adds the spicy nose. The Roussain gives it the backbone. Native yeast fermented and aged in neutral French oak barrels. I absolutely loved this stellar wine. Kubli Bench Amber Estate Orange Wine is a unique uh, wine, and I'm going to let Brie tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Brie, and I'm, we're here at Troon Vineyard in the Applegate Valley in Southern Oregon, uh, Grants Pass, Oregon, and this is our Coobly Bench Amber. Uh, amber wines or orange wines are kind of the opposite of a rosé. Uh, rosés are red wine grapes made in a more traditionally white wine making style where you remove the grapes or the skins immediately from the juice. And amber wines are the opposite. They are white wine grapes, in this case, 74% Riesling, 16% Vermentino, and 10% Viognier, made in a more traditionally red wine making style, where you leave the juice and the skin in contact with one another for an extended amount of time. In the case of this particular wine, three weeks, a little under a month, uh, very similar to our red wine making process. And the result is that you get white wine flavors, honeysuckle and apricot and grapefruit pith, but with a phenolic bitterness and a structure and tannin in your mouthfeel like a red wine. It's a very versatile food pairing wine because of the way it straddles the line between red and white and it's one of our house favorites here at Troon. Grenache Cowhorn Vineyard. I love Grenache and I especially love this Grenache. This Grenache is biodynamically grown in the mountains of Southern Oregon and the Applegate Valley. This is a firm, structured wine. It has spicy floral aromatics and rich, dark, stewed red fruits, great cherry and raspberry, a great backbone of rich tannins, and super, super finish. Perfect with hanger steak, game, sausage. One of the best American Grenaches I had. I absolutely loved it. Did I tell you that? Cote de Rubli Rouge. This is 72% uh, Syrah and 28% uh, Grenache. It's a lovely blend. The blood is created from biodynamic grapes that they purchase from their uh, neighbors and uh, biodyn biodynamic vineyards. Uh, this wine is not from their estate, uh, Kubli Bench Vineyard, so they call it Coute de Kubli. Uh, big whiffs of plum, raspberry, blueberry, lots of spice, dark stewed red fruit on the palate, earthy, chewy, but velvety too, with a finish of pepper and black tea, terrific red wine. Cuvée Pyrenees, and it's an estate wine, 70% Tanat, 50% Malbec, co-fermented from their Kubli Bench estate. Uh, this red blend is named after the Pyrenees Mountains on the border between Spain and France. The Tanat is rich and tannic, uh, it's co-fermented with the super, super round, lush Malbec. Incredible balance, complexity, power. Cuvée Pyrenees is an outstanding statement wine, both for Troon and for the Applegate uh, Valley AVA. Super impressive. Another of my favorite wines from this tasting. Really loved it. Troon Piquette Estate from the Applegate Valley. What is Piquette? This wine was popular more than a century ago. A light, fizzy wine, super light in alcohol. This easy to drink wine style has been a big uh, comeback in recent years. It fits so well with their biodynamic style of agriculture. And after pressing their estate white and rosé wines, the grapes are then re-fermented in a stainless steel tank with native yeast fermentation. This new second wine is quickly bottled under crown caps uh, to finish fermentation in the bottle. This sparkling wine is absolutely delightful, fresh and fizzy with bright fruit flavors, hints of strawberry and orange zest, uh, light, uh, lovely pink salmon color, fun, fizzy, perfect for brunch, lunch, or as an aperitif, a very fun drinkable version of this newly styled wine. 
big thanks to the folks at Truant, especially to uh, Craig Camp, the general manager, and to Brian and Denise uh, White, the owners. Really big thank you and great stuff, uh, Nate. Really enjoying your fantastic natural lines. Of course, a big shout out to Bree for being such a good sport and uh, doing that for us. Anyway, great wines, some of the best natural wines you're going to taste, and uh, you got to get on over and try one of the wines at Troon. See you later. Well, that's it for this edition of the Great American Winery Stroop Waffle. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you'll come back soon. And in the meantime, drink local.